So we're here in Bishop Street outside the uh, Learning and Information Library where Citizens Eyes based in the Community Media Hub. And right next door we have the Children's Information Service shop. So what we're going to do, we're going to go in and speak to Shafika and find out what these guys actually do. Here we go. Oh, so there's lots of brochures and information here. Okay, so let's speak to Shafika. Only five hours there. Oh yeah, how are you doing? I'm fine. Everything okay this morning? Yes, thank you. Good, good. Now, can you tell us a little bit about the Children's Information Service and particularly about this sort of shop that you've got here? Yeah, well, um, the Children's Information Service are in a great place because we're in the middle of town centre and the fact that we have a shop means that parents can come in and, and talk to us on a one-to-one -one basis. Um, we provide quite a bit of information from when you're about to have a baby, um, right through to free nursery education, services for children with special needs. If you want to find out about childcare, you want to make the right decisions, because you know, putting children into childcare is one of the most important decisions you will make uh, in their young lives. Um, so we can give parents all the guidance that they need. Um, there's stuff about dad's groups, groups for children, what's going on in the holidays. So it's a whole package really for um, children and families and making sure that families are supported in the journey because bringing up kids isn't an easy thing as you know so right it's half term this week so do you have like listings of sort of uh, play schemes that are going on and that kind of stuff definitely um before the beginning of each kind of major holiday we have a list of holiday play schemes all parents need to do is give us a call or pop into the shop or email us and we can send the information to them and um, it's got a whole list of what's going on in the holidays and how to keep the little ones busy um, and also I understand you run a brokerage service as well is that yeah, right can you tell us what that what's involved in that yeah we're quite fortunate here we have a brokerage service and um, Tracy who's the brokerage officer um, you have to understand that Finding childcare isn't always an easy decision and some families find it harder than others. So the brokerage service is really a, a service that's there to kind of hold your hand and make sure that um, you make the right decisions and go and visit places and, and really to give parents that special service that they need to make the right decision for them and their family. Now recently you did um, a questionnaire as well, didn't you? You asked for sort of some consultation amongst those that had used the brokerage yeah. service. You had, you had quite a few um, feedbacks as well, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, I mean... You know, being able to, to help parents along the way is always a really special thing and, and parents really appreciate that. And if you if you come in and you're having problems, whether it's paying for childcare or finding the right childcare, then we can help you with that. Parents appreciate that and it goes a long way. And I just met the young mum, Phoebe, who'd actually taken the time to fill one out and uh, just gave her some tickets to uh, Twin Lakes. So yeah. she'd actually won, didn't she, yeah, the, the tickets she did, to Twin yeah. Lakes. So I picked it out of the, the bag last week. So I, uh, I've taken some pictures of her and a fantastic kid, so which people can look through. If they click on the Flickr link now, they'll be able to yeah. see the photo and stuff. I mean from your point of view do you think it's uh, good to have this kind of retail environment almost if you like where people can come in and find that information rather than just sort of ring all the time they can actually pop in and pick up I mean there's loads of leaflets in here and stuff isn't there? There's nothing like the personal touch it's, it's fine to call it's fine to email but if you if you really want to speak to someone there's always someone here you can speak to and give you that you know extra personal touch and one-to-one's always best. Brilliant. Shafika thank you very much. Thank you.